So the bottom line is that you're pessimistic about the outlook for the British pound here? I'm pessimistic for all currencies that, sorry, all countries that um, operate on fiat currencies because they have got themselves in a cycle of money and credit production which they cannot get off from. And uh, it's, it's, the problem really is that neither central bankers nor politicians are appointed to address the problems that we now face. And no one is going to willingly tip the whole world into um, a real depression, which incidentally, I think in some, quest in some countries is already here because we get numbers like GDP numbers, which are um, wholly distorted. Um, all the capital spending, all you look at is final product. All the interim stages of, uh, of um, the production of capital goods are not captured in uh, GDP numbers. Mm -hmm. They get inflated by all the extra money uh, and credit that is produced from within the financial system uh, so you're not comparing like with like. And the last way in which um, they really do disguise what's going on is by manipulating the inflation figures because GDP numbers always have a deflator which makes sense but um, when you can manipulate the deflator so that it shows that the economy is not doing as badly as perhaps it feels, then that is pure government manipulation and we are seeing that. Yeah, But I mean they seem to be fighting a losing battle here. The inflation statistics that have come out over the past couple of months yeah. show that inflation is definitely a worsening problem in the UK and I think most people recognize it's much worse than what the government even yes. says it is. So are they losing control? Um, I don't think they've ever really had control. I mean, um, I think both uh, in the UK, UK, Europe and America for that matter, I think the authorities, if I can call them that in the broadest sense, have been on the run since the credit crunch. Mm -hmm. The problems have not gone away. Um, they have been buried somewhat. And of course, we all uh, like to think that it's been dealt with and we can get on with our lives, but I'm afraid that's not the case. So um, the best thing that we can do as individuals is to take those steps to protect ourselves and our family as we watch events unfold. Nobody else is going to protect you, that's for sure.